Welcome to our video set on optimizing your PC. In this video, we'll look at cleanup utilities to free up space on your hard drive. Now, the amount of disk space you have available on your hard drive can affect how quickly your computer works, how quickly Windows runs. This is particularly important for the hard drive actually within, inside your computer. The internal hard drive, as it's called, the hard drive actually inside your computer, as opposed to external hard drives that you actually have to plug into your computer. And running out of disk space is less and less of an issue these days, as hard drives are getting larger and larger, and also less and less expensive. However, on the other side of that, Broadband is getting faster and faster, and people are downloading more. So it's actually easy to fill up your hard drive without even realizing it if, for example, you're downloading music regularly. So go to My Computer, and here it tells you what hard drives you have. And importantly, it labels these local disks, which means hard drives inside your computer instead of external hard drives. External hard drives would be listed here, devices with removable storage. And I have one here, although this one is in fact a memory stick, G drive. And in my computer, you can change the view through this menu here. You can, for example, go to Icon View, which gives you less information. So I generally spend time in Detail View, and it gives you these three columns. So here, you can see immediately which hard drives you have in your computer. Importantly, generally, you will have a C drive. And C drive is the most important drive in your computer. That's where Windows is installed. That's where Windows starts from. And generally, that's where most of your software is installed. So if you run out of space on C drive, you could cause significant problems for yourself. Here, you see it tells you total space. 48.8 gigabytes, free space, 28 gigabytes. So there's plenty of room. And if you just click on one of these, it gives you the same information here. And also in the status bar down here. Really, I would say that if you get below a gigabyte, it's a bit dangerous. So try to avoid getting below a gigabyte on any drive, and especially C drive. Of course, the more space there is on a drive, the less searching that's required so the faster your computer can find what it needs to find. So your computer is accessing the hard drive most of the time, or needs to access the hard drive. Even when it's not doing anything, your computer checks the hard drive every few seconds, or every minute or so, even when the computer's idle. So it's a very important process. It's beneficial to make accessing the hard drive as easy for your computer as possible. So making sure there's enough space available, and if you're running out of disk space, you can, of course, uninstall software you don't really use. And you can do that quite easily using Control Panel. Or you can remove data or download files which you don't really use anymore. And also, there are many files that Windows creates, and also that your web browser and other software creates, just through the process of using your computer. And you probably aren't even aware of many of these files. Many of these are called temp files. Temp files are files that Windows creates to achieve certain tasks. And often, for whatever reason, Windows doesn't clean up after itself. So you can wind up wasting a lot of disk space on unnecessary files. However, helpfully, Microsoft has provided a utility to help with this. If you go to the Start menu, Programs, Accessories, and System Tools, and Disk Cleanup. OK, select the drive you want to clean up. So this may take a few minutes. I'm going to click OK and pause the video and continue the video once it's completed the process of checking what I can actually clean up from my hard drive. Okay, it's gone through the process and it's telling me you can use disk cleanup to free up to 4 gigabytes and it's around 
1,000 kilobytes per megabyte. It's actually 1,024 kilobytes per megabyte, and it's 1,024 megabytes per gigabyte. So approximately 4 gigabytes of space I could free up that were literally being wasted. Okay, downloaded program files, zero, but temporary internet files, 84 megabytes. Offline web pages, okay, I don't need those anymore, but only a tiny quantity of data there. Microsoft error reporting temporary files, again, only a small quantity of data, but I don't think I need those. Office setup files. I have Office installed, so do I really need to keep those there? And actually, it says here, if these are removed from your computer, you may be prompted for your original installation media. Okay, I still have the CDs for Office, so let me get rid of that. That's a lot of space. And nothing in the recycle bin. Setup log files, files created by Windows. Not a particularly helpful description, but let's get rid of those. Temporary files. Programs sometimes store temporary information in a temp folder. Before a program closes, it usually deletes this information. Well, I have over 500 megabytes in temporary files, so apparently this information isn't always deleted, so let's check that. And web client publisher temporary files. I don't believe I use that, so let's get rid of that. And okay, this would make a huge difference. Compress old files. Windows can compress files that you haven't used in a while. Compressing the files will save disk space while still enabling you to access them. No files will be deleted because files compress at different rates. The displayed amount of disk space you will gain is approximate. And you can choose which files you can compress if you click on Options. You can specify how old the files should be before they're compressed. So obviously, that's a good idea. I'm not going to do it in this example because compressing 3 gigabytes is going to take a while. So I'll leave it as it is. And actually, I'll uncheck temporary files in this instance. I will do that later. But the reason I'm unchecking it is, of course, because I'm recording this video right now. And the recording software may be using temporary files. So deleting temporary files while I'm recording could cause problems for the recording. So let me just leave that unchecked for now. And you can also go to More Options. And here, Windows Components. You can free more disk space by removing optional Windows Components. Clean up, and it takes you to this screen which actually you can also access through Control Panel and the Add Remove Programs screen. If there's a part of Windows that you don't use often, such as Accessories and Utilities, Fax Services, I don't have it installed. Indexing Service, I don't have that installed. Internet Explorer, for some reason it says 0 megabytes there. And MSN Explorer, and so on. But let me just cancel that for now, but you can do that if you wish to free up more space. Installed programs, and it takes you directly to the Add Remove Programs screen, which is available through the control panel, so you can remove them here. Let's just close that. System Restore. You can free more disk space by removing all but the most recent restore point. System Restore information, in case there's a major problem with Windows, it gives Windows a point to return to, hopefully before the problem occurred. You can choose to clean up, and are you sure you want to delete all but the most recent restore points? I'm going to say no now, but that is something you can do. So let's put those aside for now and go back to Disk Cleanup. And OK, I'm going to save 366 megabytes. And actually, for this example, let's make it a quick example. So let's keep the Office setup files for now, but I can get rid of those later. Let's get rid of temporary Internet files. OK, 84 megabytes approximately, and that's the main bulk of it. Then setup log files are just about 2 megabytes.
Let's OK that. Are you sure you want to perform these functions? Yes. OK, the disk cleanup utility is cleaning up unnecessary files on your machine. And it may take a few minutes, so I'll pause the video here and resume once it's done. OK, it's done. And when it's done, it just disappears. It doesn't tell you it's done, but it's gone, so we have to assume as much. Now, let's go back into my computer and take a quick look and see if it's made a difference. So now C drive, total size, obviously that hasn't changed. 48.8 megabytes total size, and now free space is 28 gigabytes. So those are some points to bear in mind regarding disk space on your computer, and a quick and easy way to free up a significant amount of space on your computer.